What's up, world? That's your boy, Young Bless, the gutter, the hard hand rapper from Muskegon, Michigan. We pour it live from the 503 across the streets. Hey! Baby girl, you can't touch me. Came, came from the bottom. Came up at the top. Lonely at the top. Baby girl, won't stop. Baby girl, won't stop. Um, I've seen you on the live a few times. I know you smoke. I brought you a little smoke. Oh, thank you so this much. Jay for you. Thank I figured you. we could burn one up and go for a walk and talk Portland hip hop. What do you say? Let's get with it. All right. Brother. You know, man, I'm happy. You know, God is good, man. Been a long time. Dropped the hottest album on our platform. And, man, been doing shows with us. Skylar Ray. Skylar Ray, yeah. Yeah, man. Shout out to the to the Wu Life, you know, and shout out to my team government. You do some work with uh, Big D too, right? Oh yeah, that's my brother-in-law. Yeah, that's my brother-in-law. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. That's my brother-in-law. Shout out to my brother-in-law, Big D and Dope Boy Records, man. Yeah, he just came up on the show uh, yesterday that we did with Rush One. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. You guys did a little performance out there. I caught you at the Mystery Bar not long ago. Right, 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 right. Um, that was pretty fun. How long have you been making music? Man, I've been making music since 07. So I came out in the era with Soulja, Soul, uh, Soulja Boy and the Joker, Too Cold, and uh, Pop Out Boy, the, like, the, uh, like the crunk. The uh, crunk uh, era. Yeah, yeah. man. See, it, I've been in the game since 07, man. That's it up. <laughs> so, as part of our interview today, um, we found someone who was a backup dancer for Tina Turner. And what year was this, roughly? It was probably 1965. 19, and you were on tour with her? No, I wasn't. I was at a, a club there in LA. Oh, my and gosh. I was on a club, you know, it's called the Playgirl Club. It was a different club, you know, they had Playboy Club. This is the Playgirl oh. Club. And uh, I worked there, and we we had suspended cages, and the cages were on each end of the stage. So they lifted us up during the, the beginning of the music, you know, before she came out. Uh -huh. we, we were like the music and the dancers in the cage kind of warmed up the crowd. Wow. And then when she came out, then we would dance on the side of her as she performed. Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And that was in California? That was in California. It was actually in Pico Rivera. A little Pico town Rivera. in LA. <laughs> Have you been back there since? Uh, I've been to LA, but not to, not to the club. No. <laughs> did you get a chance to speak to Tina at all, or was it yeah, just Yeah, we a... did, but you know, she was a performer. Busy. We were working, and Missouri was yeah. working. I think we I mean, didn't go up there and go, ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, right. You just went, hey, how you doing, you know? Well, she was I'm pleasant Casey. with you. And... She was very nice. She was very nice, and she was very respectful. Respectful of the fact that we were just peons, and she was the star, you know? But she didn't treat us at that. My first girlfriend ever, Tina Turner, What's Love Got to Do With It. That's, oh, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's our song. Oh, My yeah. <laughs> well, say your name one, one more time My for us. My name's Cece. Cece. C -I -C -I. Thank you so much for your time, Cece. Oh, that was pleasure. a great story, by the way. Appreciate All right, it. All right, Dolphin. Cheers. <laughs> you just, and you just came recently from, we said, nine years, ten years here in Portland? Now? Yeah, it took, it took my music. It took my music to blow up nine years in Portland, man. All right. It, it, um, I understand it because um, for me being deaf, and what I experienced being around the culture, it, um, uh, it's very different, you know what I'm saying? Why don't you walk us a little bit through that? Like, you, you have a hearing impairment, is that what the... Yes, I, uh, I lost my hearing when I was three years old, when I was a kid. So shout out to my grandma, McCoy. Love you, granny. And then shout out to my manager, my father, OG, Jim McCoy from Skeet. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, you know, I'm not one has a kid. You know? How's that been like? How's that? How, I'm kind of curious. I mean, I know being black is hard enough, but then you add a hearing impairment on top of that. And yeah, I imagine that... similar, similar, similar uh, situation, but different, man. You know, 
You know, deaf people done paid the way, man. Shout out to Hella Killer. She was blind, deaf. And shout out to Bay Toby. He the one with the all the uh, important music. He the one inspired Say Toby to, uh, uh, with the music. And like today with the Migos now, you know? Yeah. So being here in Portland for nine years now and being involved in the hip hop scene, is there, have you found some places and spaces that you fit in at? Some... Oh yeah, I know I fit in with North. I fit in everywhere, man. Shoot, real people re recognize real. You know what I'm saying? I got love from the street to all the way to Copa, man. You know, it's about keeping real with your people, man. Cause we is the people. We represent the people, man. And I, we appreciate the people be, behind my deaf culture. You know what I'm saying? We might uh, dress, uh, dress different. You know, that's a lot. That's a lot of deaf people that look like regular hearing people. You know, only thing you know, they is it's, it's, it's a, a, a shame of them doing sign language. You know, that's why some of them can talk good. Some of them talk all right. Some, you know, relive. You know, shout out to all the. Uh, uh, to my nine to five deaf people, man. It, it, you yeah. work at the Cheesecake Factory. That's yeah, right. they call me the Cheesecake Man. I be knocking at your door <laughs> like the Livy Man. I be mixing stuff up like the bakery man. You will catch me in the prayer phone. I'm in the cook line and tell me I'm the man, baby. You know I'm the man, baby. I hold it down, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey. How you like working there? Is that pretty fun? Man, I love it. That's the best job I ever had, man. Four years in there, so I'm the maintenance. And the first year, second year leader of this team, you know, you know, shout out to Will and Rhonda, you know, they my important uh, role models. So you know, they taught me a lot. You know what I'm saying? We're really on the business tip, though. So thank you for the real people in our life. I see, uh, you know, the the ASL thing. Maybe you could do something cool. Maybe on your live or whatever for us. Oh yeah. For us hearing, for us hearing people, you know, people that can hear. It. What, what, you should teach everybody some ASL. Maybe, maybe give us like one a day or something on oh, your live. Oh yeah, most definitely. Just I, like ooh. some, some, some way that we could better help understand and communicate and not feel foolish doing it. Oh right, that right. Would be helpful. Yeah, most yeah. definitely. We would love to do to yeah. share. Why don't you teach us one easy word? Why don't you give us just one easy word we can all learn? I love you. How are you? And hi, my name is Young Bless the Better. All right. And, yeah. <laughs> That's cool, yeah. All right, so what has Portland Hip Hop done for you, man? What has Portland Hip Hop done for you so oh, far? Man, he taught me a lot, man, cause I'm a big fan of uh, Too Short, cause my mama uh, a huge fan of Too Short. And uh, my brother a big fan of Mac Dre. And then my dad is a fan of uh, Tupac. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, me growing around my family with some old school music, that was, and then coming out in the Northwest, I learned a lot. You know, I can't say too much, because everybody knows about the West Coast culture, you know? You know? Yeah, man, it's beautiful, man. That's why I speak, why I speak in my music, I've been there and done that, man, you know? Yeah. Where, can we, where can we find you on social media? What's a good place man, to catch you? Man, you'll find me on Live Mixtape, uh, uh, hosted by DJ Gunshot and the Divas in the Trap too. That's the one I did at the uh, that jam record. Uh, uh, rele uh, released me off they label back in 2015. Yeah. So, 2015. Um, you were signed to them. Oh yeah, I'm on all platforms like YouTube and I'm on all platforms in your Drop phone. your drop your handle so we can find you. All right, shoot, man, shoot. You'll find me on Spotify. I hope I spelled it right. <laughs> and then you, YouTube, that's the sign for YouTube. And then um, also um, SoundCloud. SoundCloud was SoundClick before it became SoundCloud. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out, cause SoundCloud used to have a whole lot of producers who made beats. So Soulja Boy came out of there, I came out of there. You know what I'm saying? So I had got all my beats for them. Back then we were doing music for love, now the game done, done changed because you know, you know, it to me, it to me rappers that trying to be competition, man, you know. You know, you know, 
Uh, we had to make it different in hip hop, man. You know, what, what hip hop is about. I know in the Northwest I ain't used to that, man, because I done met some real, real, real people, man. Shoot. Man, shout out to uh, Ch Travis Scott, Dane Lillard, man. I met Dane back, back in 2015. Dane Lillard? Yeah. Is that a good experience? Oh, he, oh, yes, man. I said, dang, you know what I'm saying? He was, he looked at me like one of them, like, like, one of them movies you see and like, yeah, you know, I'm the man type stuff. So he'll want to inspire me to drop the, the man. I had a short conversation with him at the Portland Hip Hop yeah, Awards cool years brother. back. He was really pleasant to me. Yeah, you ain't gonna get a, a lot of conversation out of him though. Yeah, yeah. It's quiet, yeah. So I've been asking everybody this, like same question here at you know the end of every interview. I just, I'm always curious, you know, do you have anything nice to say to the city of Portland or anything at all to say to the city of Portland? Man, all I say, Muskegon, Raven, Portland, prayed me. And thank you for making me the man I am today, man. Cause you know, I moved out my mama when I was 19, when I was graduating from high school, you know what I'm saying? I done been in the street, done did all the game banging and pimping and all that other stuff, you know, you know, you know. Thank y'all for changing my life. Now I got I got 12 kids, and two uh, two grandkids I love. You know I'm putting them in the better position to better up their life, man. You know what I'm saying? You know we ain't all perfect. You know only God can be a judge. You know just speak from the heart. Well, I appreciate your charisma, your attitude. You got a very infectious smile. Good person, good aura. I can feel it about you. Yeah, you Thank already you very much, know. My I appreciate you, man.